and welcome to Splotch Code. In this mini lesson, I'm going to show you how to use variables, how to make them and use them within your games. Variables are used when you want to have a number that can change during your game. For example, you might have a score that will start at zero and then go up as you collect things or you might score goals or you get answers correct. The first thing we need to do under the orange variables section, we can then go to this little box here that says make a variable. If we click on that, it'll allow us to give our variable a name so we can have a different name for different ones we use. This time we're going to just do a simple one of a score. So we'll click OK. What we need next is we need to start our game. So what we would usually do is we'll have an event which we'll use when the green flag is clicked and you usually would want to set the score to zero at the start of the game. It's quite important if you're going to play the game over and over. So when the green flag is clicked, set my score, so I pulled this down, changed that to score, set my score to zero. Okay, now we want the score to go up when we do something in particular. So we can go and choose this command here that says change by one. So again, we pull this down and we change it to be score. Change my score by one. Now we need to tell it when to change the score by one. That might be when you touch something or collect something or you've got an answer right. In this case, we'll do something simple, which is when the space bar is pressed. So when the space bar is pressed, my score will go up by one. So let's have a look at what that looks like. I press the green flag, my score goes to zero, and then I hit my space bar, and my score is going up by one. Excellent. Now you do have the ability to have this variable, such as your score, only show up in a game at a time when you want it. The moment we have actually got our variable clicked on here to show it, it will sit up in the left hand corner. If I unclick that box, it'll go away. And that, will, that means the game, it will be on there the whole time. You can move it to a different spot as well, but it's always going to be on the screen. If you want to have it so it only pops up at a certain time, so perhaps at the point you move from one level to the next level in your game, you can use these commands here, the show variable and hide variable. And so you will have it, some action here that tells it when you want it to show your score and when you then want to hide your score again. So you do have the option of just having it pop up when you want to. Variables are often used in also things like maths games. So if you want to learn a little bit more about how to use variables, then I would recommend you go across into the Splotch Code videos and find the one called Maths Game that shows you how to use it to create a maths game using the variables. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.